Those killed in East Tennessee is a cop. Cock County couple. Our Sam Luther joins us in studio. Sam, you're talking to this couple's daughter tonight. Yeah, Will, earlier this week we told you about Mike and Jean Obrist who did not survive that flooding on Friday. Family friends sharing their memories of the couple in Cock County. Tonight, their daughter's ready to share her perspective from a Friday night where she lost both of her parents, seeing it all unfold with her own eyes as she fought to survive herself. It was ice cold, full of junk fast moving, diesel fuel all on the top of it, cold, cold and deep. Just after midnight in the outskirts of Cott County, Maureen Obrist saw floodwaters go from manageable to life threatening in a matter of minutes. It took less than five minutes to go from walking around in the carport to above my head. It was a wall of water that washed through here. On Goodwater Road, Maureen and her parents, Mike and Jean, tried to drive away to safety. Mike was in the truck and Maureen and Jean got in the other car, both almost instantly lifted by the floodwaters and pulled away from their home. I got out of the driver's side of the vehicle window and promptly went into the water and almost drowned. Maureen was able to float back to the house while her parents, both in their 80s, were struggling to survive, a daughter desperately trying to get help. I went in the house and I was able to make one last phone call to 911 before I got cut off. And I told them where I was, and I heard my dad yell my name three times. And I hung up the phone with 911 to go help him. And by the time I hung up the phone and got outside, it was dead silent. The last words Maureen heard from her dad was him calling her name for help, looking out to complete darkness with water covering both cars. And I knew my parents and animals were gone. And I couldn't do anything about it. Couldn't go get them. They were gone. Maureen was eventually rescued by first responders, thankful to be alive, but has lost her home, belongings, and parents, wanting people to know what kind of a mom and dad they were. They were giving people, trying to help others. They were friends with everybody in the neighborhood, friends at the church. They didn't meet a stranger. Mike Oberst was 82, his wife Jean 80 years old. Right now their daughter Maureen is struggling to figure out her next steps. They've lived together, did not have flood insurance like so many others in that county area that we're learning tonight. The home will have to be torn down as well. Will, we do have ways that you can help this family right now listed in the WVLT News app. Just a heartbreaking story and the no flood insurance, a crippling reality that a lot are dealing with right now. Sam Luther, phenomenal story as usual. Sam, appreciate it.